You may be wondering to yourself, Omar, how do you afford all your nice fragrances for your reviews? Is it because you're a rich doctor? <laughs> no, I'm poor. Let me explain. The title you clicked on is not clickbait. This video will truly transform the way you purchase fragrances forever. I'm going to basically discuss how you can buy fragrances online for as cheap as possible. Obviously, you may expect me to talk about discount websites, essentially something called the grey market. Basically, if you find a fragrance online cheap, you want it to yourself, is it legitimate? I'm gonna actually explain in this video what the grey market actually is, is it legitimate? And then after that, I'm actually going to go further one step beyond and give you an option that's better than the grey market. So what is the grey market? Why can you find suspiciously low prices on some fragrances online? Well, I'll let you know that it is not illegal and these products should be legitimate. Otherwise, you're not buying from the grey market at that point. If they're fake products, you're buying from the black market, an illegal market. How the grey market works is that essentially a website distributor buys fragrances from another country that sells that product cheaper than the domestic country. For example, if Omar from England wants to buy a brand new bottle of black Afghano and he notices that it costs about $200, he may think to himself as too expensive. But let's say he finds his Habibi Omar in Egypt who has a brand new spanking bottle of the same fragrance for $80 instead and you'll find that the different prices between countries is based on some complex economics that I'm not going to go into in this video. Some countries just have these products cheaper. So he can then legally approach Omar and acquire that black Afghana bottle for $80 he can then sell it online on his own business for $120. And that's essentially how the grey market works. So these are still legal and legitimate products. The best way to know that a website is legitimate, of course, is basically to trust the community and see what people in the community say about these websites. I'm going to give you the best examples from the UK slash EU and North America. And I'm going to basically recommend websites that I've used myself. One of them I haven't used, but it's popular in the community. It's a bit of a hidden secrets. Uh, some of you may be annoyed that I'm actually going to share one of the websites here in today's video. For the UK and EU audience, the two main websites you should use, in my opinion, are going to be Notino and All Beauty. These discounters aren't as insane as the current North American uh, websites, but they're very good in general. For example, Natino, you get really good offers on fragrances like Mancera. Cedra Boise, for example, you can get it for £83 instead of £115. You can get L'Homme Ideal EDT for £43 instead of £93. All Beauty does good offers as well, like YSL L'Homme for £36 instead of £55 or Aqua de Palmer's Colonia Club for £69 instead of £113. Pretty good offers. There's also a website called My Origin, which I've bought from as well. It's not a particularly special website, but I'm letting you know it's legitimate because it's one of the few places that people in the EU and the UK especially can buy YSL's Blue Electric. They still have 100ml bottles in stock if you guys want to acquire that fragrance. North America has better options in my opinion. The first website is Fragrance Buy which is a Canadian website which does occasionally some insane deals on fragrances, especially niche ones. I'm seeing here Toy Boy being sold for 28 US dollars instead of the usual 56 US dollars or Amouage Interlude Man being sold for 150 dollars instead of 300 US dollars. So you can basically get expensive niche fragrances for half the price. It's one of the few websites that does this. And then this second website, some of you will be annoyed that I'm sharing it, but it's something called Aura Fragrances. I personally never bought from this website myself, but I've heard from the community that it's legitimate. A lot of fragrances get sold out very fast on this website because they are sold really, really cheap, like really, really good offers. At the moment, from what I'm seeing, uh, some good offers I'm seeing right now is Leighton being sold for 125 bucks instead of 250, so half price on Leighton. Or we've also got Nishani's Hashivat, $145 instead of the usual, like over $300 usually. So these are more than 50% uh, 
price cuts here for this website. The problem with having a worldwide audience in this channel is, is that unfortunately, I don't know the best websites for every single region in the world. That's why I'm gonna ask you guys in the comments if you're from a different part of the world, let's say you're from India or Australia, let us know down below which websites are the best in the gray market, in the discounter websites. But alas, this video is not about the gray market. It's actually about the best option possible for you, which is a fragrance swapping or selling group usually found on Facebook. That is the answer guys, Facebook. You may have noticed that fragrances in general, including on the gray market, are going up in price and are becoming more difficult to find in stock. That is because COVID has absolutely ruined most global supply chains. And now I feel that the answer is actually for the community to give back to itself. That is how I've been able to gather fragrances for reviewing in the most affordable, affordable way possible. For example, I got my bottle of Zerge of Naxos for £70 instead of £210. I got my Parfum de Marley Darley for £60 instead of over £200. And I got my Prada Luna Rosa Black, which is a third full, for about £10. I've got many fragrances from Facebook groups. The idea of them is that you find people in your region that you want to buy or, or swap fragrances with. Usually people use PayPal. And if you trust that seller, you use uh, the friends and family option, so you're not paying extra money to do their transaction on PayPal. And the vast, vast majority of the time, you're not gonna get scammed in these groups. They're very trustworthy. They're just regular people like me and you. Uh, I swear by Facebook groups. I find that it is just a fantastic uh, way to ex experience and explore more fragrances. A lot of people will sell decants in these groups as well. So this is just a really useful option for you guys. Some people watching this video will know about these groups, but if you don't, I highly recommend you go and join your local Facebook uh, buying or swapping group. There is a fragrance swapping group on Reddit as well, but I personally don't like the user interface of Reddit. And also it's just one group, so you can't really tell uh, which region people are, are selling from. I told you guys this video would transform the way you purchase fragrances. Go on Facebook buying, selling and swapping groups and see how everything changes. Make sure you contribute to the ecosystem as well. That's why it's better for more of us to know about these groups. So you can also sell off your other um, fragrances that you don't want. I know you got that extra bottle of Perry Ellis Red 360 just sitting on your, on your bedroom table. That's gathering dust, it's unused, or maybe it's not unused. Uh -huh. Anyways, guys, make sure to check out our other videos as well. In the meantime, I did another video where I kind of talk about how to buy online uh, how to buy blindly, doing blind buys in the best way possible. It's not the best video I've done, it's not structured that well, but if you watch more of our videos on this channel, the algorithm on YouTube picks it up and we get promoted more. Otherwise, if you're busy, enjoy the rest of your day.